speed is one of the most important skills of a good colorist. So today I'm going to show you a simple but powerful way to speed up your workflow by building your own power grade library. And in the end I'll share a free download so you can implement this in your work straight away. So stick around. But first let's cover what a power grade is and how it's different from a regular still. Both stills and power grades live in the gallery tab of Resolve. They allow you to save a grade that you've created by simply clicking on grab still so you can later apply it elsewhere in your timeline. A still contains not only a visual representation of the frame you've captured, but also everything you have built here in your node structure. So if you right click on a still and select display node graph, you can see all the nodes that make up your grade. This is quite useful if you only want to grab a correction from one node and drag and drop it onto another clip, for example. But what makes stills different from power grades is that a still is only saved within the project that you're currently working on. Whereas a power grade is saved within your current database and it's accessible in every single project of that database. You can easily tell apart regular still albums from power grade albums by the difference in their icons. So a good rule of thumb is to use regular stills for your current project whenever you're shot matching or saving different passes or versions of your grade. And use power grades to save things like your node tree, all effects you most commonly use or entire grades that you can use as a starting point for your next project. This can save you hours of work so you can focus on grading rather than repetitive tasks. Now let me show you my collection of power grades and how I use them in my work. As you can see, I have eight different albums. In the first one, I've saved my fixed note trees. Next, I have two separate albums for IDTs and ODTs, so I can quickly set up my note-based color management. And finally, I have separate albums for my DCTLs from Iridescent Color, QT, Pixel Tools, Mononodes, and Filmverse. So whenever I start creating a new project, as soon as I've created groups for every scene or location, I can quickly set up the color management using my fixed node trees from this power grade album. First, I'll switch to the group pre-clip level and then I'll navigate to my pre-clip power grade and simply click on apply grade. In the first node, as you can see, I haven't configured the input color space in gamma as this information is going to be different for every single project. Since this footage comes from an Arri Alexa Mini, I can navigate to my IDT's Power Grade album and I can simply drag and drop the correct Arri Log C3 to the Vinci White Gamut IDT. Next, I'll switch to the clip level and since I want to apply my fixed node tree to all the clips in this group, I'll use the shortcut Ctrl or Command A to select all the clips. Now I'll navigate back to my Node Trees album and apply the clip power grade. Now when I switch from one clip to another, you can see that it has applied the same node structure across the board. Finally, to complete our color management, we need to go out to our display color space. So I'll switch to the group Post Clip and I'll apply my Post Clip power grade. As you can see, it already comes in preceded with some of my favorite effects in DCTLs, the most recent one being test strips from Mononodes that I honestly cannot recommend highly enough. I think you're gonna find this quite interesting, so I'm gonna leave a link to it above. Already, you can see how much time it saves to have these fixed node trees ready to go as a power grade. Now, as I begin grading, I can always refer back to my library of DCTLs and effects that I use most often. Now that we understand the benefits of power grades, let me show you how you can create them with beautiful custom title cards. Personally, I find it easier to understand what a power grade does when I have a strong visual representation of it rather than just plain text. So I went the extra mile and created my own title cards in Photoshop. And to walk you through my process, I'll create three new power grades for the DCTLs for density, saturation and hue from Color Shift by Mononodes. I'll start with changing the text and resizing it to make it fit. Next, I'll use this cover image from Stefan's website as a visual guide of what the power grade does. Finally, to make it nice and easy for me to tell the three new title cards apart, I'll pick a different gradient for each one. I downloaded these for free and I'm gonna leave a link to the website below. Now that we have our title cards ready, let's import them into a new timeline. 
Then I'll search for a solid color generator in the effects tab. I'll drag it over the three title cards and I'll create a new compound clip. Let's set its opacity to zero so we can see the title cards underneath. Now let's switch to the color page. I can confirm that I've selected the compound clip by checking the indication in the clips and timeline tab. And the reason why I prefer applying any effects to a solid or an adjustment layer instead of applying it directly onto the title cards is so that it doesn't affect the colors of the images. For example, if I apply Film Look Creator, which we know comes in preset, nothing happens to my image underneath the solid. However, if I apply it directly onto the title card, it completely changes its colors, which is not what I want. Now coming back to saving my new mono nodes power grades, I'm gonna search for DCTL in the effects tab and I'll navigate to the correct version of color shift. Let's label the node for good housekeeping. And now I'll simply select the power grade album where I wish to save this to and I'll grab a still as usual. And you would simply repeat this process until you've saved your go-to tools, node trees and anything else that would give you a head start the next time you step into your color suite. And to help you get going, you can download my collection of IDTs, ODTs and of course my Photoshop title card design by following the link below. Let me know if this time-saving tip was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one.